Hello fellow audio nerds, I'm Steph and this is Major Hi-Fi. I recently got my hand on this really awesome DAC amp combo and I wanted to share it with y'all because uh, not only is it relatively affordable, but it also has a lot of unique features. So yeah, this is the FIO Q5. The Q5 has this, uh, this aluminum housing, which not only is really pretty uh, and kind of elegant looking, but it's also a great logistical choice. Um, FIO says that this housing actually helps to eliminate electromagnetic uh, interference, so it helps to eliminate noise. Um, it has a great look to it, uh, very sort of uh, simple but uh, there's also sort of this patch of leather on the back and that helps protect it from scratches, but also kind of just looks nice. The size of this guy is almost perfect. It's about the size of an iPhone 5 um, and it's a little bit thicker actually, a little bit bigger. Um, most people will find that the size is perfect. Uh, if you have normal sized hands and uh, or larger hands, you'll be able to reach all the buttons super easily. Um, I have a little bit like kind of on the smaller end of the spectrum for hands, uh, so I wish it was a hair smaller. But, um, but other than that, you know, it fits super easily in pockets and everything like that. Um, in addition to its size, it's also super portable because of some of the other functions. Um, ways of listening to music that this amp has to offer. In addition to uh, being a DAC and amplifier for your headphones, uh, it also can work via Bluetooth and AppDex. So it's a really, really cool, uh, very versatile little device. As for inputs and outputs, um, it's sort of the normal kind of stuff you might expect. Um, you've got an optical coax and line-in. Um, you've also got a line out, a headphone out, and a balanced output. So the headphone uh, output is three and a half millimeter, the balanced is 2.5 millimeters. The headphone output, the three and a half millimeter one, that will drive headphones up to 150 ohms. And uh, in, the, in the balanced uh, output, the two and a half millimeter output can drive up to 300 ohms. So it's a pretty powerful, um, device that, you know, for almost, for all sort of on-the-go headphones I can think of, this will work perfectly. In addition to the inputs and outputs, you'll find that there are also two different switches on board. Uh, one is a low-gain, high-gain switch. So, um, my personal opinion on low-gain, high-gain is, you know, uh, if you have in-ears or anything that's sort of uh, lower impedance, start on low-gain. If it's not enough gain, switch it up and you can always adjust the volume from there but uh but i do recommend starting on low just so you don't you know you have more control over the volume and you don't hurt your ears the other switch is a bass boost so when the bass boost is off um obviously it's you know your normal flat sound when you turn the bass boost on um it's a pretty strong bass boost it feels natural sounding like it doesn't feel like there's something in there making artificial I don't know, it sounds pretty natural, but it is also more drastic than other bass boosts. The deck consists of two AK4490EN chips. These ones are kind of widely known as having a low signal to noise ratio and low distortion. Um, so they're already sort of starting out in a good place here. The deck supports PCM and XMOS up to 384 kHz, um, 32 bits. It also supports DSD up to 256. Using it with your computer is also super easy. It doesn't require any additional drivers. Um, and it also will support uh, will support the Sony Walkman, so you can use this with your Sony Walkman uh, if you want. Now, to me, one of the most notable features of this guy is that, um, is that each output, input, switch, has its own power supply and or filter, power supply filter. Um, and so basically they just went to extreme lengths to minimize uh, whatever noise could possibly get in there. As a result, it's a lot quieter than many other devices. Um, and especially in this price range, I think it, I think they really did a great job of, you know, 
crossing the T's and dotting the I's, so to speak, in terms of um, taking care of noise. As I mentioned earlier, um, this does work via Bluetooth and Aptex. So basically what you do is you'd connect, say you're listening to your phone, you'd connect your phone um, to this via Bluetooth and then you can listen, um, plug your headphones into here and listen to the music from your phone. Now this Bluetooth signal actually sounds really awesome. Um, I think one of the reasons might be is because once the Bluetooth signal gets to the DAC, um, it actually bypasses the, the usual DAC chip. Uh, and go straight to the AK4490 uh, DAC chip. So it's using this really kind of um, nice and clear DAC chip to convert that data um, into the audio that, that you hear. So it's a really good sounding device, but it also works over Aptex if you have a device that supports that as well. Um, so either way, you're sort of getting the best the best quality that you can over a wireless signal. Now, just like many other FIO sort of amplifiers, players, that sort of thing, um, the, the amplifier section of this device is actually interchangeable. So there are different modules that you could purchase from FIO uh, that you can, you know, swap in and out for all of your different amplifying needs. The one that comes with this is called the AM3A, and it's actually the same amp module that comes with the FIO X7 Mark II, um, which is an awesome sounding device, and so I was really kind of excited to see that they decided to include this one in here as well. Now, the sound of this, the FIO Q5, um, it's very clean, not colored at all. So something, I sort of listened to it side by side to a few other common amplifiers, uh, well-known uh, DAC amp combos, and <clears throat> the high end wasn't particularly pretty in the same way that it is with the Chord Mojo, for example. Um, the low end wasn't particularly like tight and punchy as it is with uh, something like the IFI Black Label, um, but it still was super clean, um, just very detailed. And because of the power situation, as I explained earlier, like each kind of piece of this thing having its own secure power situation, um, the sound stage of it actually was really well done. Um, kind of enhanced a little bit over, you know, just kind of any other DAC amp combo. It felt very balanced. Um, whether I was listening at sort of very high volumes or whether I brought it down um, to very, very low ba volumes, the sound felt balanced, left to right felt particularly balanced. Um, yeah, just a very solid sound overall. Because the DAC uh, and amp isn't colored at all, um, I wonder if, you know, some folks might say this sounds less musical than other uh, amplifiers. I sort of saw it as like, this is like the true image of the sound and uh, it's sort of up to the mix to be musical or not. So, you know, your judgment should lie more on the mix uh, than it should on the deck amp. Um, but, you know, saying that many other amplifiers and DACs do give you sort of that colored, more musical sort of response uh, to to the music as well. So it's sort of up to your own, you know, what you want out of your DAC amp um, to say whether or not, you know, this will be the one for you. In conclusion, I think this little DAC amp combo is really awesome. Um, it's super, super portable, very versatile, especially for the price. It goes for $349. Um, so I think it's a really awesome option for somebody who doesn't have as big of a budget as something, you know, like the Chord Mojo, for example, um, but you still want a clean sound, a good sound, uh, and something that's portable. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and for more videos like this, subscribe, as always. I really appreciate y'all, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.